The National Assessment of Educational Progress uh, is it has this new testing that shows that nine-year-olds lost ground in both math and reading in pretty dramatic ways as a result of the pandemic. Um, what is the president going to do about it? What is the administration going to do about this severe learning loss? And does the administration shoulder any blame for not pushing schools to reopen sooner? 47% of schools uh, uh, were uh, in, in less than six months uh, our schools went from 40 per 46 percent uh, to to open to nearly all of them being open to full time. That was the work of this president, and that was the work of Democrats. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Teachers unions have said that teachers should be vaccinated before schools are open again. Does the president agree with that? Should a vaccination be required before a teacher should go back to school? Well, he believes that teachers should be a priority in the in the vaccination list. He has supported that. He believes that teachers should get their vaccines, but he's listening to the science. It is not clear to me where the president's position is on reopening schools. Jen Psaki keeps leaving it ambiguous. Where there is a high incidence of, um, of, uh, of COVID, there has to be a judgment made from the community as to how they go forward. Most, many schools will tell you across the country, we're, they were waiting for the CDC guidelines. They want to know how to do it safely. Parents were thrilled last night to hear the president say five days a week, he wants to get those kids back in school. Well, look, if it were easy, it would have been done by now. You know, I mean, obviously, if, it's a very difficult situation to get an absolute definitive answer. Stand up against that pressure and fight the unsafe return to school site. This is a recipe for propagating structural racism. That was the work of this president, and that was the work of Democrats. As an educator, there's been some vocal opposition, especially from teachers unions, to this idea that the, the teachers should be forced back into the classrooms this fall, regardless of vaccinations. Well, what do you say? I mean, what, what's your message to educators? Is it time to get back in the classroom this fall, no matter what? Well, I think it depends on, uh, you know, we're following the science and what the CDC says. So if we can't blame President Biden for the fact that many schools are still closed, uh, do we blame teachers unions? No, I think that uh, another quick oh, uh, reopening schools in the middle of a pandemic is not as easy as uh, some may think. Knowing what we know now that it doesn't the disease isn't transmitted on surfaces. We don't have to go through all this deep cleaning that right. we thought we did at the beginning. We've learned a lot. Do you wow. think the school should have been open earlier? You know, without looking at the context, it's, it's difficult to answer that. Are schools going to close on Monday if we top three percent? Yep. We do need to close our schools for the coming days. Uh, no one is happy about this decision. It is super, super, super hard in the places of the deniers. The only way you can safely open up schools, Craig, is on-site testing. And unless you're an affluent school district, you don't have access to it right now. But we should not rush to reopen schools. Because they're the biggest risk. The biggest risk to the spread of the pandemic is opening up the schools. That was the work of this president, and that was the work of Democrats. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention that I got all of these clips from Tom Elliott of Gerbayan Media from a Twitter thread he did on this topic. You can find a link to that in the description and pinned comment.